Hello and welcome to a sunny day on the edge of Weirdale. Today I'm joined with my daughter. Uh, the hill that we're going to do today is called James Hill and it's only, it's less than four miles actually, there and back. And then because today is supposed to be the hottest day of the year so far, we're going to go back to where I was last time where all those waterfalls were and we're going to do a little bit of wild swimming in some of the pools there. Before we start, that one over there, that really big hill, that's Chapel Fell. It's massive on this side. <laughs> on the other side, it doesn't seem so big. And this one here is Fendriff Hill. But we are going to be heading in that direction, up that way, for about a mile, 1.7 miles roughly. So let's get started. Oh, just one more point before we begin on Google Maps, this road here is absolutely full of craters and potholes, but it's been recently resurfaced. I, to be honest, the biggest worry about today was just getting to this point on this road. But it's really, it's, it's not so bad. So we're just going to follow this fence to the top and then follow it back again. Starts off quite easy, but I'm expecting it to get a little bit more rough as we go on. What a beautiful place. As I said, that was Chapel Fell. That one there's Fendriff Hill. Oh, beautiful. Let's keep going. It's getting warm now, like. <laughs> Very windy, so I'm trying to shield the mic. That there is the hill that we're aiming for. So we follow the fence around. And up to the top. The hill's called James's Hill, but it's also known as Western Hope Moor. So if you're looking on the map, it might be listed as Western Hope Moor, or it could be listed as James's Hill. Beautiful place. I'm glad for this wind. <laughs> Keeps it cool. The terrain becomes a little bit more challenging now. <laughs> Some pe big peat hags. They never look so big on the camera, but they're the height of me. Another bit of bog to cross. Not so bad on my own, but I've got to guide my daughter across it as well. An interesting wall here. <laughs> Got the cans. That's Weirdale down there. Let's look at the view so far. What a stunning place. Come across this dirt track here. It turns into like a little wooden track over there. The fence is just there like. So we're gonna have a look at it. I can see the summit now. <laughs> Finally, this track must lead all the way up to the summit. I'm not sure where the track uh, begins though, but we just followed the fence. It was just, I mean, yeah, we had to cross some peep bogs, but it wasn't too bad.
There's the top. Top of James Hill, everybody. Yet another Hewitt of County Durham. Only got two left to do now. <laughs> There's great views coming up. The views on the very top aren't as good as coming up for. You can now see Cross Fell over there on the horizon. I'm not sure my camera will pick it up, but you definitely can see it. There's like a bit of a haze on today. It's another one of those hills where it looks like a peat hag over there is higher, but Point on the map, this is the top point. So, this is why I'm going to take. I'm not going to go across the loads of peat bog to just find a peak hag that's like a couple of centimeters taller. There is like a little bit of a cairn here. I'm not sure what it is. Actually, it looks like a trap. Yeah, it's a trap of some sort. Whatever it is goes in there. It doesn't come out by the looks of it. Oh, it's a nesting box. It's a nesting box. It's not a trap at all, it's a nesting box. There's nothing nesting in it though, but there's some feathers there. Right, let's get back and then uh, we're we'll going to the waterfalls, have our lunch at the waterfalls I think and do a little bit of wild swimming in some of the pools. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah. <laughs> that wind's keeping it cool up on the tops here but down the bottom it probably won't be. Let's see if I can show you this. If you watched my last video you'll know that there's a lead mine further upstream. And the reason why the miners knew to mine here, you see in, within this limestone, they got these lines of iron. That's what they would have first seen. The entire limestone's fractured with these iron seams. And with the iron seams you would have gotten other minerals as well. Such so on this stone here, you see that shining. That's galena, that's lead ore, which has got a silver content as well, which gives it its shine. And that's why the miners would have chosen to mine further upstream there. I was just sitting on this rock here, and I noticed these are lots of little tiny fossil shells. And it goes onto that side as well. I don't know if you can make that out. That there is frostly marble. If you were to polish that up, it will go black. And the fossils will stand out white. That's what you can find in Durham Cathedral. It's pretty cool that. You can see all that mineralisation in the rock. It's pretty cool.
Hello, Joe. <laughs> if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button for the next adventure. Share with your friends, social media. And I'll catch you on the next one.